Hello ladies and gents of the HPFF. Uh, we've had some questions and some confusion lately on reading the Lee Perfect Powder Scale. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick how-to on that to give you guys an idea. Because um, the construction or the instructions in the book are kind of confusing. And as someone who's used this thing for years, you know, it's really easy. Over here on the left, we have tens of grains all the way up to 100. You just roll this little ball down to whatever weight you desire like right there would be 40 grains there would be 70 grains etc over here we have the single grain and tenth of a grain now way over here to the right is zero the bottom number where it says grains is whole grains one two three four the top scale is tenths of a grain zero through nine to read this, the tenth grain is where a lot of the confusion comes in because it's little white lines with slots. Where it is at right now is a whole number, zero. If you wanted three tenths of a grain, you slide it over until the white line you can see is directly above the three. Now there will be two little white lines to either side of it and the four and the two, but they're only part way there. They're kind of faded. You want the solid line directly above the number that you want. That's as simple as it is to it. Um, you can lock it with this little stud right down here on the bottom. You just snap it in and your chart and your bar is solid. It doesn't move anymore. That's what you want to do if your weighing charges off of a powder measure. Or where if you're just weighing you know, an unknown charge, you unlock that reach inside and press it out and then you can slide your slide your slide back and forth um, that's all there is to it it's really simple once you've used it for a while um, if you have any other questions just post them up on here uh, thanks from the HPFF and we'll see you again